What's up, YouTube? It's your boy FB Aftermath, man. We back here at the gym, as always, because the majority of my videos, if not all of them, are based in the gym because that's what you guys want to see. But anyways, today I want to go through a workout with you guys that, you know, that just something fun, something explosive, something that gains size, will burn fat, and get you faster, get you, get you cardio, you know, your cardiovascular strength up, and um, and really cover over that that can you get bigger, you know, bigger, faster, stronger? Is that something that is possible? Is that something that is possible without the need of you know supplementation, legally, illegally, illegally? Well, you can use like legally, you know, but do you need illegal supplementation? to acquire these three things in the same thing. Bigger, faster, stronger. Now in football, all my life in sports period, that is all we've been taught. Oh, that was too Bigger, easy. faster, oh, stronger throughout the whole flying. year. You know, where we do our weight training, we do our strength and conditioning, we do our speed training. You know, an athlete like myself, I went from uh, football to basketball to track for like, hell, like six, seven, eight years straight. You know what I'm saying? Ever since like, hell, elementary school, I feel like it. Not junior high, junior high. Seven, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. All right, so like 13, all right, seven years. Seven years, seven years of straight that. And we're just gonna have a fun workout, man. I'm gonna show you guys how to accomplish these things. Now, when you think bigger, faster, stronger, a lot of you think that you're just overwhelmingly growing in all these areas at the same rate, and that's not the case. When you're doing these things, you you start to develop and you know slightly here, slightly there, slightly there, you know, because let me put this in perspective. If I'm doing a lot of strength training, but yet I'm doing a lot of sprints, conditioning stuff, um, stuff that promotes the strength training because strength and conditioning, um, sprinting definitely helps with lean muscle mass while also burning fat. Sprinting, I feel like is the key to preserving that muscle, if not building more, while you're still, you know, burning fat and getting stronger. Um, steady state cardio, I don't feel like exerts enough out of your body to really get that effect like sprinting does. And that's why you see all these athletes, these football athletes, that they just, they look the way they are, they perform the way they are because of sprints. You know, now, I mean, mind you, we do our mile runs and stuff here and there, you know, just for a little bit of cardiovascular edge, but sprinting is the main thing. Speed kills, right? And speed is what's gonna help you and your body um, get to where it wants to be, which is bigger, faster, and stronger. So, let's go. Of course my life matters to me, but not just mine. Everyone's. Don't fear failure. It's all as true today as when you were 12. Handle that business. We got the Outlier Goals now. So we have the Outlier Air, regular wireless, pure wireless headphones. Now we got the Outlier Gold. These bad boys just came in. So we're gonna use these in today's workouts. And I feel like these type of headphones are great for workouts like this where I have to be, you know, very movemental, you know, explosive and uh, like nothing bothering me. Cause honestly, I hate when wires and shit like touch my skin. I hate when stuff touches my skin when I'm like doing stuff, even when I'm gaming. Like I hate when I'm sitting in a chair and I got like the remote wire like touching my knee. I'm like, yo, cause like, I, 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 I can't stand wires, yo. Now the last pair came fully charged. So we're hoping that these came fully charged as well. Cause I'm relying on these headphones today. I'm trying to get a workout video in with Tiana Trump. Holla, ha, ha. Not like holla like that, but like, I'm trying to get like a free workout, you know what I'm saying? So we can film. Yeah. Pairing successful. Connected. Let's start with some warm up stuff.
we're gonna get first set in. We have 10 reps, hex bar, squats, and then we have broad jumps right after. Listen to Chris Brown, y'all. We'll be Maybe not, we're gonna jump on today. We're gonna jump on today. I just want to one step over it, but I'm killing it right now. Ugh. It feels too easy, right? It feels too easy. Ugh. Way too easy. Six. Whew. The key to all of this is staying, staying moving, regardless of the weight, regardless of heavy weights, regardless of how tired you are. Stay moving. Get that mental, that mental uh, push that you need with these movements, man. In football and sports. There is no. You don't rest. You don't get to rest because you're tired. You don't get to rest because you're tired. You have to keep going, or your ass is off the squad, or your ass is in trouble or you got extra laps after practice, after, you know. So you have to keep having these mentalities that somebody is up your ass the whole time about keeping it moving. You know, I'm tr even, even like now, like, so I try to stay off my knees and shit, I try to keep myself up to really fight that, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you are a high school student or college student and you're playing football or any sports and coaches see you tired and shit during pro days, tryouts, yo, you out, bro. You're not ready. You know, and, I, and, and the, the, it's the honest truth, man, because that's, that's, that's the one thing I get told by everybody. Before I was on, before I, I was to the Jets, uh, before I went to the Colts, my, my, pro, my, my training camp days with the Colts or the Jets, yo, that's like, yo, don't let me see you tired. Don't let me see you tired. Hey, if you want you tired, me like, you have your hands up on your head, that's as good as it gets. If I see you bent over, that's it, you out. So, you know, just think, think of these things to, to really, like, you know, just sometimes I, I forget and I, I have to catch myself. But, you know, keep these cues, man. Like, these are, all, you know what today is about, you know, you know how, to, how to make it, how to make it to that level, you know what I'm saying? What type of training you need to do and, and how you can just better yourself all around. So let's get back to it. Got to finish these box jumps. Got six reps. We're going to do sideways now. Side jump. Load it right here. One. Great way to build 
muscle, burn fat, anything dealing with sleds, man. Sleds pull, sleds push, full intensity. I bet you I can run faster than you even with the shit on. All of my niggas got stacks. <laughs> Headphones ain't fell out. They still holding on. Woo! This is a, this is what I call the Huckleberry Finn tire. Still upright. I'm holding on to my shirt. Or you hold on to your face mask. When it comes to making the NFL, man, like I understand I failed at it, but this is the key note right here. This is the key note right here before anybody hits me up, of course, like comments on negative shit. Regardless of me not making it fully into the NFL, I made it to their campus. I made it in front of the coaches. I made it on the field with the team. And sadly, there was just no more film and stuff for me to, you know, further the experience. If I had film, I would have definitely been on a squad. No doubt, period. If I had film, and you know, they wanted me to go to CFL and stuff. But think about NFL. I want to get like, you know, four good years in and be out, you know what I'm saying? CFL would just like, damage me too much when I want to really perform at that time. So I don't know, but I, out of my hard work and training, I was able to make it to that point. Me, myself, I got myself to that point through discipline, hard work, studying, understanding what to do to get faster, stronger, you know what I'm saying, lighter, or at least feel lighter, and movements at a good frame. You know, I ran a 447 at 227 pounds as a running back. Uh, ran, a, uh, did 11 foot broad jump, 42 to 45 inch vertical. Like, I was, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to brag on myself, but I was no joke, because at that, at that combine, I was dead ass serious, and I knew what to do, and I knew how to get to that point. So, check out my Aesthetically Athletic series, check out my summer performance on YouTube. Uh, I'll probably put those at the end of the video. Definitely check those out. But, you know, I, I'm saying you should definitely listen to what I have to say because these are things that will help you get to the NFL. And if you're in high school, get in those camps. Get in those camps. You know, ask your parents to spark camps or those Nike camps. Like, get into these things. Be seen, you know what I'm saying, early. And understand you need film. Be on your coaches about film. My coach was bullshitting me in high school. They give my, didn't give me my film until, like, the end of my senior school year. When it was like too late, but it was, it was, you know what I'm saying? All summer I was trying to find out what the fuck to do. So we still got this workout to continue, but I'm just giving you guys some more knowledge about, you know, getting into the NFL. You can make it, man. You can make it. Just believe in yourself. Find out the right position you want to play. With me, I was stubborn. They wanted me to play outside linebacker, linebacker. I didn't want to play defense because I always got hurt on defense. Something always fucked up. I wanted to play offense. I never got hurt as a running back. Never. The only thing that happened is that I twisted my ankle. Um, um, in practice over fucking Mwanza Wambalumba, this big ass tight end, and that was really it. But other than that, running back kept me the safest, I felt. Because, you know, when you're running back, you don't have to worry about stopping and like trying to hit somebody. All I gotta do is just run, put that shoulder down, just tuck that ball in, and run over somebody, you know what I'm saying? Or juke them out. So I was decent at juking, but I just ran people over. So let's continue this workout. I'm not resting, I'm uh, thinking about God right now. All right, so we got five. One, two, three, four, five. Set one, up, down, one, two, three, four, five. Boom. All right, let's do six. Six, six, six. The devil's, the devil's ball exercise right here. that 
four times. extra thigh pump. Usually I would add more squats or something to this day, but we did the hex squats. Uh, so now we're gonna end this workout with five sets, suicides, down and back. All right, so let's get that done. We're gonna do carry suicides. So down and back, boom, two, two. Get 2,000 likes on this video in a day. In a day, in 24 hours. You guys want me to make more how to make the NFL videos. Like I said, no college experience. It's all through hard work, dedication. A lot of people say it's because Odell's my cousin, and I don't believe that's true at all. I don't believe that's true at all because we never talked about each other. He never brought me up, I never brought him up. So, you know, they just, they were like, look, they, they were talking, like, I don't care Odell's your cousin. Odell don't play for me. That, it's not gonna be one to play for me, it's gonna be you. So, you got us here by what you can do on social media and stuff, and how strong, how fast you thought you are, and athletic, you know, let's see what you can do. And they gave me the opportunity. That was all, you know, all on me. So, and then shout out to Test, Test in uh, New Jersey. I went there for three months to train too, my pro day. So a lot of things I do also are coming from them as well. So uh, a shout out to them. But catch you guys later. I'm out. You can email me at teron2311 at gmail.com for online training, for personal training if you're in the LA area. And uh, yeah, catch you guys manana. It will actually be manana. Like manana for me is tomorrow, which this video will be up that day. my life matters to me, but not just mine. Everyone's. Don't fear failure. It's all as true today as when you were 12.